Hey Captains and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cold and dark with the new 737 Max that is currently grounded. So it is pretty similar to the 737 new generation, but as you see, four big screens, overhead is still pretty much the same. The only difference is uh, f uh, the APU gauge is gone here. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna start going over to our iPad if you can call it so. Connect the GPU. I don't know about that. Let's just retract. So the GPU is the ground power unit and we need that. So first of all go back and in this occasion I just wanna go to align time short it is already dead because otherwise it will take about nine minutes. I don't wanna sit still at nine minutes. So we just put these to nav IRS to nav and we go up and select this to HDD STD STS and oh battery on grandpa on just need to undo this nav nav two minutes one minute so now it is aligning we just have to wait one minute you need to turn on the battery first <laughs> i forgot so battery first ground power then align and just wait one minute Okay. Nav. Just like that. Okay, so now it set that sound and we are ready to align. So we're going down to our FMC CDU. Press clear. Go to init riff. And now you can see these boxes are empty so we're going next page select this by clicking here and now it is down here so go previous page put it in here so you can see our displays oops displays is now showing something and now it is aligned i'm not going to show you the FMC programming today, I have done that in another video. I'll now focus on the cold and dark startup. So first of all, uh, now we're going to set up overhead panel. We are always going for top to bottom, left to right. So we start with this, going down, up, down, 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 down. Always do it this way. So first, your damper your dampers on we select not all the pumps but two pumps is enough to the APU yes emergency exit lights on then you want to turn on the electrical hydraulic pumps both trip mass on and select the packs to auto then connect the APU bleed on. So this is our processation system. I have already set it to 38,000 feet, but you just can do this. And it's important you set it at the auto 
uh, display because then it would automatically set your precision. Also remember to set this switch to auto. So now we have done that, we are gonna turn on our APU. Go down here, on, start. And then we are gonna wait for the APU uh, to start. And it can take some time. So we can just wait a moment. So uh, if you have rudder pedals, I will recommend you to set nose wheel axis on yaw because the nose wheel, when you taxi, you need to use your nose wheel. So when you use the rudder, uh, the nose wheel will also follow your rudder. Then you can taxi. But if you don't have um, rudder, uh, just configure it on your yoke and if you don't have yoke uh, do it on your keyboard PA system okay let's check on our overhead okay now you can see this and now CDL is on it's blue which means the APU is ready so turn on the generators for the APU and now we're running on the APU. Then you can go down to your iPad, disconnect the GPU, go up to overhead again. So now the APU is running and we are ready to start our engines. So we start with number two engine, the right engine, just switch this to ground. And now you will see that the display down here the engine display the right one is going up and when this hit 20 to 25 uh, percent you need to give some fuel but first we're gonna turn the packs off because if it if they are on they cannot reach uh, 20 to 25 percent so this is our fuel engine uh, switch now it's on 22% and we're gonna turn them off on I mean so on with that and now we should see in a moment that this will go further further up and there was after 25% going up and in a moment we will hear a click and this one is going back to auto automatically so the plate is coming in one moment there it was now you can see that it has turned back to auto and the engine is now ready. So we are going to select the other engine, same procedure, switch this to ground. It will now spoil up as you can see on the engine display. And now we're just going to wait a few moments and then put on our fuel. 15% 20% Now we're gonna give it some fuel So now we're just waiting to get it to 25% and then the fuel will take over Yes, the fuel is, has taken over and the engine is preparing itself. And in a few 
moments we are gonna hear the click and then we know that the engine is ready. That was and it's back to auto. So before taxi now, we're gonna prepare the last of the overhead. And that means turn on the rest of the fuel pumps. Turn on the generators for the engines. And now we can turn off the APU and the APU bleed. No smoking signs, seatbelts auto. All window heat and probe heat on and NCIs if you need those packs back back to auto and now we're ready for taxi I hope you like my video and of course if you have some video ideas or questions Please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me in this video. I will see you next time.